This is The Bottom Line. The Bottom Line on 938 Live. Now, SMEs are getting a new online tool from the government to assess the robustness of their cybersecurity plans. The Singapore Business Federation says about 30% of local enterprises had been a victim of a cyber attack. 938 Live's Travis Teo spoke to the chairman of the Singapore Business Federation, Teo Seong Seng, and started by asking why SMEs need to be more aware. A lot of people think that cyber attack will never happen to them. 30% of the companies actually admitted that they have faced cyber security threat. And I think it's very real. And uh, what we are reading and learning are the examples that people found out. Like recently, one of my customers found out that actually the information was leaking. Also, you have the uh, K-Box, okay, find out the information was leaking. The cyber attackers are getting smarter, more IT savvy. So I think it's important that uh, cyber security become part of our business continuity management uh, because when it's attacked, you know, it will not only affect the company profitability uh, reputation, it also affects other people. I see. You mentioned 30% of the companies actually surveyed said that they, they are facing some form of a cyber attack. Yes. Um, is there an increase from previous years? And, you know, going forward, do you expect more of your member companies to be facing these sort of cyber attacks? Well, this is the first time we, we did such a survey and in fact the result was quite surprising. So I'm sure that as time goes by, we may find more company under this threat. So it's important that people take cyber security very seriously. Obviously, there are the ICT companies which operate in the online spaces. But are there other type of companies that are more vulnerable to cyber attacks or cyber threats? No, I think it can be any company. You know, even my own company, we have a website for shippers to go online booking. Uh, to check the schedule and then we check regularly that whether it's under attack because uh, you have unscrupulous uh, operator who may actually come in and extract information for their own benefit. So I, I think it is in all form. And Minister Iswaran mentioned that SMEs will need more help in terms of um, cyber security. What sort of measures do you think they should be taking? We are discussing now with a collaboration with Spring and IDA uh, whether they can roll out any quick check for the SME to check that whether their system are vulnerable to cyber attack. They are clinic set up, so just bring your laptop and just plug it in and they will run through a series of test questions then to see that whether you need to beef up your security. Uh, so, in fact, I think a big idea that in the SME centre, if they can also feature this as part of the productivity drive, and I believe it would be good for all. In terms of top management of companies, how do you think they should be made more aware of um, cyber security issues? Well, I think in the business process, of course, top management is involved because that's how they want the business to be run. Cyber security should be part of this thought process. So I think that we have to take this very seriously. But on the other hand, it's not all doom and gloom because cyber security also is a business opportunity. And as Minister say, globally, there are one million shortage of such personnel and uh, expertise and Singapore is a good example. So do you think there will be more jobs then for uh, security? I think so. I think so. And it's a very new, uh, it's, you know, I think there will be more uh, jobs uh, to look into cyber security, really to build a system that can withstand the cyber attack and help the business to run better. Teo Seong Seng, the chairman of the Singapore Business Federation, speaking to Travis Teo on the bottom line. The bottom line is brought to you by Turkish Airlines, Europe's best airline.